Hello. I'm back. Um, I have decided it's time to start my new zoo. I just couldn't stand looking at all of the errors I made on my first one. So this one, this one's going to be better. I can tell. Ooh. I did it on the same franchise. So, you know, I might bounce back to the other one occasionally. But I think I'm going to start focusing on this one. It's called Zoo Zoo after my dog because his name's Zucchini and I often call him Zoo. So this is Zoo Zoo. All right. So I've built a little bit so far, just kind of like an opening plaza because that was the real big mistake I made on my first one. Um, and then I'm starting to build the staff facilities, but I haven't really done much yet. I do want to um, get a mechanic in particular because I'm check out this terrain. It's kind of nuts, but there's this um, like path down the side of this mountain. You can really see it if you uh, if you go into here. See see that? How nuts that looks. So I'm thinking a lot of my zoo might end up being down here and or on the side of a mountain. But I would really love at some point to have um, some kind of transport ride to get people down there. Um, however, I need a mechanic to research uh, the, the ride. So... Um, I need, let's see, I need a workshop, okay, so let's get a workshop, there's a workshop, okay, so I'm gonna build up the terrain a little bit over here so that I can set um, buildings around. I guess I'll dip this terrain down a bit. See if I can stick one there yet. Yeah. Put that right here. All right. Uh, terrain modification failed. Why? Okay. I'm gonna need to modify that terrain a bit more. Baby, work for me. That. Terrain modification failed. Why? Okay. That. Not great. Not horrible. Gonna get that little guy out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring it up a little bit more.
and then I'll smooth it. That seems pretty good, fingers crossed. Yeah, nice. placement a little. Come on, why is it giving me grief now? There we go. Okay, that is just fine. Cool. Okay, what else do we need? I've got a keeper hut, small keeper hut. We could do a research center. Right there. Okay. Let me work on a little terrain over here. Okay, let's see if it'll let me stick anything here now. That surgery, quarantine. Oh, jeez, that's big. Maybe this one can go over here. I'd like it to go over here. I'll flatten out some of this terrain. Let's see how that works. Yeah, I want that, this one. didn't work out quite as I wanted. Let's smooth this down. Do I need quarantine yet? Maybe not. Who do I have? Workshop, research center, keeper hut. I need a trade center, obvi. Pretty good. Does that leave enough room for this later? Yeah. Maybe I want it now. I 
think I'll need to smooth it out a little more back here. to that. See if I can't get it over a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Gotta say. Pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. staff room and I need vet surgery. Here's a staff room. too much. Let's make this a little less sensitive. Okay, let's see here. Staff room. I would like it to be a little lower down. Okay, that's looking great. We got a little staff alcove. Vet surgery. Okay, last one. And it's a big one. All right, it's going to go right here. a bit more and make more space over here.
I think we're getting kind of close. Does it look weird? No, I think it looks fine. Let's smooth out a little more though. really on a cliff face. Let's uh, round it out a little. I don't want the surgeons to feel like they're in grave danger when they're performing surgery because they're on like truly a harrowing cliff face. Okay, that was like slightly more reasonable. nice okay now we want to set the uh, mechanic to research a Transport rides, that's what I want. And okay. All right, get to it. Good job. All right, now we need to get down to business with the actual zoo. Okay, so here's our opening plaza. We've got plenty of space, I hope. Last time I tried to build a zoo, it was severely lacking in space in the entrance area. So now I think I have solved that issue, and that's nice. Um, I have to decide where I want my first, oh, thank God it stopped raining. Okay, beautiful weather, this is stunning. Let's pause here, so this is where we're gonna be building. Uh, let's, let's build our first like few, um, our first few habitats, my bad, habitats over here. And we will then move this direction. And then once we have filled up this general area, we're going down the hill. Pew, 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 pew. Which is nuts, but you know, hopefully by the time we get there, um, I'll have some transportation researched. I will have some money, some good funds coming my way and it'll seem more reasonable. So let's see, what animal do we want first? Let's look at what we have available. I have 225 conservation credits. Let's look 
at anything that costs like that. Okay. I, don't, I want any species. Confirm. Okay. We got penguins, bison, arctic fox. That is cute as hell. I love that. I love this. I would like this friend. Arctic fox. Okay, yes, let's get this. Bing, adopt. Gotcha. Um, okay, and then these things are cheap as hell. What? Oh, what are these? Ndari? Oh no, that's its name. Northern Sulawesa Babirusa. I don't know what that is. But they're cheap. Maybe I should just go for it. This one has really good genetics too, and it's only 14. I'm gonna get it. Okay, that's a female, I need a male. That one has really good genetics. Okay, I'm getting it. Okay. Let's reset all the filters and then let's look for Arctic Fox because I only have one of those. <gasps> oh my God, so cute. Look at the little black ones. Oh, precious, adorable. Okay. What do I have in storage? I have a female, so I need a male. And that's a male. I'm, oh God, it has terrible genetics. I don't know if I can do that. Just terrible. We really don't, oh, ooh, ah, that's good. And I need a male, right? Yeah, I need a male. That's a really good, oh no, I can't afford that one. That's the bad one. I can only afford cash, cash listings, please. Okay, I need a male. That one's okay. I think I'm gonna start building and then I'll come back and look again. And I should probably find out what this animal is. North Sulawesa babirusa. Let's see, what's up with that? North. Okay, what is your deal? They are a species of native pig. What kind of, what's your vibe? 13 to 42, that's pretty broad. It's currently 11, so they'd need maybe a little heating. One male up to four females. Okay, this seems... This seems great. Let's... Let's go for it. Let's build our first habitat right here. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this is where I start a bit of a time lapse because I'm building the first enclosure or the first habitat, if you will. Um, and it gets extremely frustrating at points and I hem and haw over what I'm gonna do.
So I thought I would speed it up a little so you don't get bored out of your mind. Um, I start with just the barriers. Um, talking about how I'm going to get this, uh, this habitat and another habitat kind of back to back along that flat side, which is why I have it um, just flat on that one side and kind of curved around the rest. Um, and this is where the first frustration starts to happen is that I cannot for the life of me get the keeper path to just go to the gate there. So I'm flattening that area out, struggling, struggling, struggling. Um, I, the pathing on this game is so annoying. Like sometimes it works effortlessly and it just connects and you're like, wow, that was amazing. And sometimes you can mess with it for a half an hour and then just decide to scrap it because there's literally nothing you can do to get it. You can see me bending over there just like, what is wrong? Why can't I get this? What if I flatten it like this? What if I flatten it like that? Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Let's try this. So I'm just going to be messing with this for a while. What if I move the the gate over here? It seems flatter over here. I think ultimately I needed to worry about my settings for pathing. I'll probably go in and check that in a little bit once I realize that this is just not going to work. Um, oh, I think actually now that I have a little more insight into what to do, I think it actually helps when you um, select the um, the an initial piece of path that comes right out of the keeper gate. You can select that as what you're aligning to the grid, and then it'll allow you to path out from it. And once you do that, it's easier to get them to connect. So hopefully I figure that out here in a minute. Hopefully. Please, God. Oh, my God. What are you gonna do? Yeah, so I'm messing with the messing with the gate, the fencing, the settings. I know I'm gonna figure it out. Come on. I have faith in you. Past PB. You got this. Yeah, you flatten that terrain. Do it. Nice job. Yeah, put that gate in. You got it. All right, what's your plan here? Maybe try aligning it to the grid. There you go. That's that's it. By George. I think she's got it. Ah, yes. There you go. Excellent. Oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. All right. I think it's about time to go back to regular speed. And uh, drop some animals in. Uh, first, we're going to get some staff, and then we will get going to the animals. Need a work zone. The work zone will be everything that's here so far. Okay. And they will all be in it. Okay. Very good. They're bringing the animals over. Thank you. All right, what do you like in your habitat? A lot of soil and sand. Okay, easy enough. Soil.
and sand. Put a little sand pit in the middle. Let's smooth it out. Okay, future me here again. I am starting to get this habitat appropriate for these wild piggies that I have. Um, they're called like Northern Sulawesi Barbarossa or something. I um, decided early on that I can't really pronounce it very well having never heard anyone say it so I just think I call them wild pigs most of the time to be honest that's what they are there um, so I'm looking at what they need they like a lot of sand and soil um, and then I need to get a shelter in there for them but a lot of these are humongous so since we have this whole area on such a slope and such like rough terrain I, I've spent a lot of time like just messing around with flattening terrain, raising terrain, trying to fit things in so they don't look too odd in their environment. And that's what I start doing here. I'm gonna get some, some trees in. I think I'm gonna end up moving that, um, that little hard shelter. Um, in just a minute after I get some trees going. That tree's massive. Um, but these guys seem to like quite a bit of coverage, so that's that's good. There I go moving the hard shelter, but as you can see it's like a little sloped over here, so then I'm like, oh look, it's it's like levitating on one side. I guess I gotta raise the terrain over here. So I do that, I kind of raise it up and I'm like, oh, grass, no, that looks odd. We want to make it look like it's like rocky under there, like there's rocks holding this thing up. So I take from the, take the grass away, make it look rocky under there. I'm like, that, that's starting to look more regular. There's like weird grass sticking up in there. But every time you change the terrain, it like defaults back to the long grass, which almost no animals seem to like much long grass in their habitat. So I spend a lot of time just like taking the long grass out, putting the rock back in. There we go. But then again, there's some rock sticking up. Smooth it, smooth it. Oh, there's the grass again. Great, great. Okay. All right, so that's looking good. Add a few more little things in there so it's not so barren of a landscape. Got to make sure that they're things that these wild piggies actually like, though, because you don't want anything that's, like, poison to them or, like, not from their natural habitat. Whoa, too big. Okay, well, I guess I'm fine with it. I think it's too big now, but past me looks great. I guess it's nice to like block the keeper gate so the guests can't see it because I'm about to make the fence over there along the flat side be the windowed part that can um, be like the viewing area for the guests. Gotta get some food and water in there for them. Those hungry and thirsty little wild piggies. And a scent marker thing. Sounds disgusting, but okay. Some enrichment. Gotta enrich the piggies, you know. The framing of my screen is kind of messed up there. You can't see like exactly the bars, but you can see that on the left side it's green, so that's good. All right, start building that spectator path up here, right through there. Looking back on this, I should have made it way wider because um, it's a real bottleneck area. Truly, 
I feel like only the keeper path should be that narrow. These, uh, these paths that are for the visitors, if they're that narrow, it's just asking for trouble later down the road. It's hard to imagine now that like it would be that crowded in the future, but it will be. Mark my words. I'm trying to get this to connect again. Oh, the frustrations of pathing in this game. You can see the visitors already starting to flock in. I have like two animals and almost nothing else. And they're like, yeah, let me in there. Oh, there I go. Widening it a little bit. But. Well, put in the windows. Lower them a little bit. Oh no, I guess I don't put in windows right now, do I? Yeah, I do. These pigs don't really need a very high barrier. They're not they're not really jumpers, these piggies. Yeah, that's looking nice. Very good job. Self-encouragement's important. Okay, now I go to get in some education in there and plop it in. Boop. Nice. Very good. Got to get these visitors educated. Yeah. All right, so I'll just mess around with that a little bit. And get some trash cans, some recycling bins. Don't want trash around your beautiful park. Um, and then I want to get some audio education going as well. Oh, and donation bins, of course. Got to get that money. Money, education. And then soon I'm going to let these guests flow in and experience the wonder that I've created for them. As soon as I get these set, we'll be ready to roll. You gotta make sure they don't intersect too much. That would be displeasing. And then let, okay. let the visitors in. Let's press play. Let's see how they're doing. Are you leaving? Why? Yeah, don't leave. You just got here. Okay. We should create a bathroom situation. Maybe I'll do that right here. I'm gonna let it run while I do this so that I can get many. There's the bathroom. We'll do a gulpy soda. This will be like a little food court area. Oops. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, I must do some smoothing, I suppose. Oops, how do I redo? Hmm, that's incorrect. Okay, facilities, bathroom. Okay, let's do some terrain smoothing. So it's just going to be the name of the game from here on out because everything's bumpy around here. We need to make a little queue.
That's kind of weird. I feel bad because I keep hiring than firing that poor employee. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is pretty good. Can they see well? <laughs> okay, let's put some educational boards elsewhere. Like this. Okay, this is beautiful. All right, so nice. I love this zoo so much more already. It's like miles above the other one already. So that is awesome. My animals are happy. They're not yet mates. I'm hoping they will be though. They're happy with all the trees. The terrain is good. Doing pretty good all around. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to call it right here. Thank you if you watched me today. And I'll be back. Until next time. Bye.